When a scholar of the old culture swears to have nothing more to do with people who believe in progress, he is right. For the old culture has its goods and greatness behind it, and history compels one to admit that it can never be fresh again. One needs to be intolerably stupid or fanatical to deny this. But men are capable of consciously resolving to evolve themselves to a new culture. Whereas formerly they did so unconsciously and fortuitously, they can now create better conditions for the propagation of men and for their nutrition, education, and instruction, manage the earth as a whole economically, balance and employ the powers of men in general. This new conscious culture destroys the old, which viewed as a whole has led an unconscious animal and plant life. It also destroys mistrust of progress. It is possible. It would, of course, be rash and almost nonsensical to believe that progress must necessarily follow, but how could it be denied that progress is possible? On the other hand, progress in the sense and along the paths of the old culture is not even thinkable. If romantic fantasizing still do designate their goals, e.g. self-contained original national cultures, as progress, they nonetheless borrow their image of it from the past. In this domain, their thinking and imagining lacks all originality.